What is a wraparound mortgage? A wraparound mortgage, also known as a wrap, is a type of secondary financing for the purchase of real property. With a wraparound mortgage, the seller gives the buyer a junior mortgage that wraps around an existing mortgage already secured by the property. A quick word on junior mortgages. A junior mortgage often refers to a second mortgage, but could also be a third or fourth mortgage. Basically, a junior refers to the priority of liens. In the case of foreclosure, the senior mortgage will be paid down first, then any junior mortgages are paid based on the date they were recorded. Now let's get back to wraps, which are a form of seller financing. Seller financing refers to any transaction in which a property seller finances all or some of the purchase directly with the buyer. The agreement is based upon a promissory note that details the terms of the financing and the promissory note serves as evidence of the debt. Seller financing deals don't require the principal amount to be exchanged up front, so the buyer makes installment payments directly to the seller, which includes principal and interest. A wraparound mortgage structure is used when a seller has remaining balance to pay on the property's first mortgage loan. The agreement takes into account the remaining balance in the seller's existing mortgage and its contract mortgage rate and adds an additional balance to arrive at the total purchase price. In a wrap, the seller charges an interest rate based on the terms of the existing mortgage loan. To break even, the seller must charge at least as much interest as they are being charged on their existing loan. That gives the seller flexibility when negotiating the buyer's interest rate. Generally, the seller will negotiate the highest possible interest rate so they can make payments on the first mortgage while also earning profit on the deal. Here is the example of a wraparound mortgage. Let's say that Vivian has an $80,000 mortgage on her home with a rate of 4%. She sells her home to Stephen for $120,000 who puts 10% down and borrows the remainder or $108,000 at a rate of 7%. Vivian earns 7% on $28,000, the difference between the $108,000 and the $80,000, plus the difference between 7% and 4% on the $80,000 mortgage. Seller finance purchases don't have the same cost as financing through the banks and other types of lenders, which can benefit the buyer and the seller. However, the seller takes on greater risk and responsibility, so they often require higher than average down payments. If the buyer defaults on any payments, it'll be up to the seller to pay the original loan or risk foreclosure on the home. Sellers must also be sure that their existing mortgage doesn't include an alienation clause, which requires that the seller to repay the original mortgage entirely if collateral ownership is transferred or if the collateral is sold. Alienation clauses are common in most mortgage loans, which often prevent wraparound loans from occurring. In summary, a wraparound mortgage allows the seller to finance a portion of the home loan that is wrapped around the seller's existing mortgage. It's a good solution for selling a home in a slow market or when rates are high and credit is difficult to obtain. There are risks, but when used sensibly, they can result in extra profit for the seller and better terms for the buyer.